In this example, we're going to go ahead and verify this co-function identity, which says we have the cosine of, and we have the difference of two angles, pi over 2 and x, and that's going to equal the sine of x. Well, what is it that we really have here? Well, pi over 2 is 90 degrees, so this angle is going to be 90 degrees minus x, along with this angle, x. Okay, well, we're talking about complementary angles here. So we're saying the sine of one angle is equal to the cosine of its complement. Well, okay, we know that to be true. Let's go ahead and use the difference uh, identity for cosine and go ahead and show that that's true. So we have cosine of, and then we're subtracting two angles, A and B, and we have this expansion that it goes with, so it's going to be the cosine of A, which is the first angle, times the cosine of B, which is the second angle, plus the sine of A times the sine of B. So let's go ahead and work with this left side, and this pi over 2, let's call that the A that we're going to put here and here, and this X value, we'll go ahead and call that B, and we're going to go ahead and put that right here and here. And we're saying that is going to equal the sine of x. Okay, well, let's go ahead and use the left side and apply this identity and see what we get. So it's going to be the cosine of a, which is the cosine of pi over 2, times the cosine of b, which is the cosine of x, plus the sine of a, which is pi over 2, times the sine of b, which is x. And that's supposed to equal the sine of x. And again, this right here just came from the right side here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and kind of take this left side of the identity and kind of whip him into shape. So we know the cosine of pi over 2 is going to go ahead and be 0, because the cosine of 90 is 0. So we have 0 times cosine x plus, and then sine of pi over 2, where the sine of 90 degrees is 1, times the sine of x. Okay, well this multiplication by zero actually just makes that uh, piece of that expression go away. And then one times sine x is just sine x. So here we see that the sine x equals the sine of x. So we know we're good to go. And we have now proven this cofunction identity, which essentially stated that the sine of an angle and the cosine of its complement are going to go ahead and be the same values. And we did that by employing the difference identity for cosine.